I will eat an entire tray of brownies For and sure. then happily feel like garbage Die. after. Yeah. That's fine. Today we're going to be testing what the best box brownie is. I think I already know. Brownies, I do remember, like, I can have some vivid memories pop up of, like, my mom making the brownies, like, the whole put the fork or the toothpick in, you know, to, like, see if it's done. I like gooey, soft brownies that are a little bit crispy on the outside. I don't like hard brownies. Like, I've seen brownies that are, like, they're not brownies, they're, these are biscuits. Brands, though, I feel like that is where, like, it gets hazy. I think Betty Crocker is a brand, isn't it? That's like the classic mom brand, I feel like. Yeah. I feel like Betty Crocker is like, your mom swears by it and she always gets that, but here's the real tea. It is Ghirardelli. It's like Valentine's Day, you get the Ghirardelli, you know? Ghirardelli is the best brownie, there is no question about it. I have tested multiple, I have an actual problem. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh. <gasps> okay. Alright, it's looking pretty gooey. This was the centerpiece, I believe. Mm. This looks to be pretty fudgy. It looks moist in the middle, and I like that there's like a, almost like a, a crunchy like layer. The best brownies require this top layer, the crunch, and the gooeyness on the bottom. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. You gotta do something. Mmm. Yeah, I like it soft, but this one might be too soft. I got the edge piece, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm rocking it with the <laughs> crunch. Are they all this good? Oh no! Definitely the softness that I want. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how the other ones aren't going to taste just like this one. I'm trying to channel my Great British Bake Off mm. like impression. Soggy bottom. Soggy bottom. Uh, it looks like it needs to be proven a little bit more. We need air pockets. But the the flavor, <laughs> the flavor is exquisite. That's not a British accent. The only criticism I would give them is I want to be punched in the face with chocolate. Like I want to feel it tomorrow. The best part of a brownie is that just crystal thin little layer, whatever. It's like translucent and crispy on top. It's two different worlds. Oh, you know? best of both. Okay, talk to them. The color's a lot lighter on the top. It's looking a lot different. Um, maybe that means that it's more like a milk chocolate and the other one was more like a dark chocolate or something like that. Yeah. This one is like almost caramely? Peanut butter. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, caramel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe caramel, you're probably right. You know, mm. I like the, the texture of this one a little bit better. I, I, it's, this is gonna sound weird, but I liked the flavor of the darker chocolate one. Mm -hmm but the texture of this one is really doing it for me. Not my favorite. This feels more like a muffin to me. <laughs> you know what, I think that's what I'm liking about it more. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> texture wise, it's mm -hmm. a little different. Um, I prefer the first one. Mm -hmm. It's like borderline too moist, but yeah. This box was picked on the left side of the Costco. Mm. <laughs> in the in early summer day. <laughs> like on a brownie points level. The, the last one was much higher up on a chocolatey factor. This one's an even lower chocolatey factor to me. It was aged on the shelf approximately five months. <laughs> the consistency I don't like as much as the first and the flavor is not as strong. It's not quite as sweet, not as, not yeah. as brownie-ish. Mm -hmm. It just has more of a chocolate, kind yeah. of gooey. There is a difference, there's like, there's chocolate mm -hmm. and there's brownie. Like, am I gonna eat it all? Probably, but like, <laughs> I'm not happy about it. You have been able to corner piece here. Ooh. This one definitely has the consistency I feel like we're looking yeah. for. You think it looks crumbly? It looks gooey as oh, It looks gooey. This one looks a lot more similar to the first one than the last one yeah, did. Yeah, this one is more brownie than the last one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this tastes more like a brownie. Like, it, this here is a brownie brownie. I will mm -hmm. say, this to me, it's a, it's a little cakey. I'm not feeling this one as much. Oh, it's very sweet. Yeah, I feel like they just like loaded it up with sugar. This one just doesn't do enough for me. How do you feel? This is so good. There is a wonderful chocolate taste going on in here. This is more what I mean where it's mm. like, not quite as like dense and like gooey and fudgy. Okay. It's still very moist, it's good. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. It's like right on the borderline. Dude, it like literally melted in my mouth, but like it melted as like a sugar clump. It's just like a clump. A little bit of a crust and a very present chocolate flavor. This is a new top contender. 
upon first impressions, oh. I'm excited. To me, it has everything that I have been wanting. It's a combination <laughs> of the first two, which I thoroughly enjoyed. See, now a little fudgier. Look at that. See, I just kind of like. Okay, okay. I regret making that noise. Yeah, this one already feels a little more compact to me, condensed. Just I'm gonna clear my palate by drinking more milk. <laughs> this is like a wine tasting. <laughs> this is more my Can you see the difference texture-wise? This is more okay. like, oh, mushy is the wrong word. Texture-wise, I think it's too soft. soft. Mm -hmm. I, was, I had higher hopes for it. That has an insane amount of chocolate. That was really good. <laughs> it has so much, I don't think I can handle it. This is a decadent brownie. Mm -hmm. Splendiferous one now. Mm -hmm. right. I like this one a lot. We may have found it, you guys. <laughs> we may have found the one. Wow, I only have a little milk left. We've got to make this count. <laughs> weird like topping there's not really that like crust that you normally expect off of like a brownie Ooh, we, it like crumbles more i'm already thinking gluten-free of course yeah this oh okay well here's here's my issue with this one and i think you're right i think it's gonna be a gluten-free because i touched this and it crumbled into six pieces i do see something but it does look a lot less gooey than the others did but It tastes like it's trying to be gluten-free or something. Is it just like flour? It's only flour. It might be like either gluten-free or something. Cause it's like powdery. My favorite brownie is one because it tastes like the classic brownie that I grew up with. I agree. I like one because it's not too sweet and I like the texture. Yeah. I got excited over one a little bit ago. That was like, I think that was the second one we tried. I think that was the one I was most excited for. I think that was it for me. I, I think number one did it for me, you know? I wasn't looking for too much more. It gave me the brownie flavor. It was moist. It was wonderful. Mm. I believe that number four is my favorite. I think there's just more of that chocolate taste in four. Three had a little bit less to me. I think, so I think four is gonna be my number one. I agree with you that one was like quintessential brownie, love it. But we all have our own little brownie preferences. So for me, number four was like kind of just like one, but a little gooier. Yeah. And like that just that's that's my thing. You guys like Pillsbury. I knew oh! it! I knew it! That is the classic. Betty Crocker, yes. He loves you knew it! And there was a reason why that's the only name I knew. That's wild. You guessed it right <laughs> off the bat. You're Hey! Wow. I okay. am a man who knows what I like. <laughs> Of course it was. <laughs> <laughs> David, your favorite ended up being Pillsbury. Hey, I'm a Pillsbury? Well, it's a different video. Mm. <laughs> yes, what was the last one? The last one was Enjoy Life Gluten-Free Vegan. Aww. Well, there you go. Aww. No wonder that so many vegan people are like, I don't like sugar or anything. If you know it's gluten-free, then you have <laughs> lower expectations of taste. And so you forgive it for not tasting like. So here's the thing, he says number one, I say number four, and we're both right. You feel me? Get with your friends. Yeah. Make two batches of brownies. Uh -huh.